Alright guys, welcome to part two of our cool glowing effects scene. Um, last we left, we did the, um, oh, we changed the opacity to 50 on all the copied circle layers. And so now what we're going to be doing is we are going to, um, create a new layer above circle copy 6. And you're going to go into the tools options and you're going to select, um, the custom shape tool. In the custom shape tool box, you want to select you want to select this one right here, tile two. Select that, and you want to make it go across vertically like this. And the color should this for this should be white as well, just like the circles were. And then on this one, change the opacity to 35. Okay. Double click on the layer, add an outer glow, and change the opacity to 83 to 100%. And then change the color from a bright yellow all the way to this orange color again. And then click OK on the screen. And now change the size to 2, and the spread should be 6. And now, that's what you should get. Okay, so, hmm. Now you want to click on Transform. That's under the Edit screen. Or Control T, and then right click. And you want to warp this. And you're gonna want to move your warp as shown, like in like kind of like a turn. You're gonna turn it to the right, and then on the bottom you're gonna turn it up, curve it up to the left. So curve to the right on the top, curve up on the left. Okay, and you will get a cool little result once you've done. It will look similar to that. Oh, but we're not done yet. We are just beginning. Trust me. Okay. <laughs> so now, after you've gotten this fabulous shape so far, you're going to do Control T. And we're going to rotate it again. We're going to do a Control T. We're going to rotate it on its side so it looks a little better. But if you don't want to rotate it, that's cool too. Because the warp tool well, pretty much did that. But if it doesn't look to your liking, Please feel free to warp, warp it again. Alright, now we're going to duplicate the layer. And just click OK on that screen. And you have two shape layers. And now you have your duplicated layer. Uh, oh, excuse me. Change the shape layer opacity to um, 100. Enter and change the fill. Okay, so make sure that the shape layer copy is ha has a fill of 30%. I know in the video it shows you me doing it on the layer one. I'm just being cool and making a mistake. <laughs> so don't follow that, okay? Just make sure it's the shape one copy. Okay, so now that we've done that, and I've made all my dumb mistakes for the day, we're going to, okay, layer one, you're going to want to make another copy of that, so duplicate your layer one, layer one, like I just showed you on the screen. Go to adjustments, and click on hue and saturation, and do as I instruct you to, which is change your lightness to 100, plus 100. Yes, just do it, just click OK. <laughs> you will have that. A little white dude. Make sure the white layer is below. Make sure layer one's on top. Copy of layer one is below. Double click on that. Do an outer glow. Follow the steps like shown. Change size to 18px. And yeah, that's pretty much it for that. And you'll have that. How cool does it look now? 
it looks pretty chill. New layer above layer copy, layer one copy. And change the colors again to white. And click OK. And now go into the brush tool. You're going to select this mighty fine brush that I'm going to show you. Um, it comes standard with uh, Photoshop, so you should have it. Um, if you don't, um, let me know and I can try and find it for you, but um, I don't know where you can download it. I just came with my standard Photoshop, so now you're going to draw cool little marks like this along the side of your image, like this. Oh, look at how chill that looks, guys. How chill is that? Oh yes, looking mighty fine already. Well, looks like we're halfway there. Still got plenty more to go. Another new layer needs to be made above layer one. Select another awesome ass brush. Select a soft five pixel round brush, hardness of zero percent. And we're now gonna go and just draw some like random little dots. Yeah, random dots. I don't know why, don't ask me, I'm just telling you to do it, so you should just do it and have fun. Okay, so you're going to have an image like that. It's looking mighty awesome already, ain't it guys? Um, change the colors again, and wow, my mic just suddenly got really loud, I think. <laughs> I'm not quite sure why. Okay, back into the brushes again. Uh, select this brush over here, like shown and do, like shown. Make a long streak across this image. Yeah, this is crucial. You cannot skip this step, otherwise your image is going to look really sucky-ish. Sucky yes, I said sucky-ish. Feel free to make it as long or as short as you want. Um, you'll end up seeing why we're doing this um, in a few minutes. Change the colors again. For your brush to a green color. Um, you can use any green color you want. I'm just showing you these colors for uh, the fun of it. If you want to make it darker, lighter, brighter, whatever, go right ahead. I don't really care. It's your image. You can do whatever the hell you want. Make more lines like you did before. This one, you gotta do a top of it. Do the green on top. Yeah, it may look kind of lame right now or look kind of weird, but you're gonna understand what we're doing. The ending result will be pretty epic. Okay. Select another color again. This time, you're going to want to make it a orangish color. Kind of like this one. And make lines on the bottom. And don't worry if you make a mistake with these lines. Nothing's perfect. It doesn't really matter. It's just going to look cool anyway. Select another color. Um, this one you want to make it more a more of a, uh, a yellow color. Kind of like gold. I'm digging for gold! <laughs> okay, and then do the same thing again. And that's what you'll have. Yeah, it doesn't look like much right now, but trust me, it'll look like something in a minute. After you have all of your fabulous lines made, go into Blur. Click on Gaussian Blur. Make sure the radius is set to 25.0, or just 25. And you're going to have that. Oh yeah. Feel free to move it around now and put it wherever you want it. Now that you have that, change that to color dodge. And you are going to have that. Oh, that looks pretty sweet. But you need to change the opacity to about 50 to make it really look even sweeter. Yep. Or, change it to 48. That works too. <laughs> and that's what you're going to have. That very image right there. And you are done. Now all you gotta do is add some text 
and you're straight up good. Hope you enjoyed this wonderful tutorial, and please feel free to make a response and show me what you made. Thanks guys, subscribe.